my friends, I am coming to you from the relic room because I've got my hands on the brand new Vex Pulse Rifle. This thing looks absolutely insane. It is very, very unique looking and it is of the brand new two burst archetype. So if you're excited to see the fully crafted version of this new weapon, make sure you smash that like button. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. Guys, if you want to stay up to date with my content, the number one place to do that is my Discord server. The link for that is down below in the description as well. So this is it right here. The Corazion. I don't know how to say this word. I've never heard of it. Corazion. I don't know. Guys, help me out in the comment section. That's what I do. That's what I do. Anyway, first of all, forget everything. Just a look at this thing. Bro, this thing looks like a grenade launcher, but it's a pulse rifle. Look how chunky this is. This is a chunky little boy of a gun. My goodness. It is of the heavy burst archetype. It is arc. We've gone with chambered compensator, accurized rounds, enhanced perpetual motion, and enhanced high ground. This gun is going to be pretty interesting. High ground is a perk that you guys put me onto recently. Final blows with this weapon and stacks of bonus damage. Attacking targets from higher ground immediately grants the maximum number of stacks. This gives you a 15% damage buff if you take the fight from high ground, which is really, really cool. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. And really quite interesting. Perpetual motion is going to help you with those pretty bad stability and handling stats. And then we're going with Accurize and a range masterwork. 95 range. This is giving us 40 meters of range, guys. And then Chamber Compensator helping us out with our recall direction, which is sitting at a 97. Now, I just want to quickly show you some of the other possible perks you can go for on this weapon. You could go for perfect float for the ultimate in-air accuracy high ground roll if you wanted. There's also air trigger as well. You've got pugilist, you've got eddy current, enlightened action, and you've got high impact reserves. I think for PVE, you might want to look at eddy current because in the second slot, you can also get vault shot. This will make a very, very good arc chaining damage build taking care of ads very, very well. You also have Swashbuckler, Frenzy, Eye of the Storm. Some very, very solid perks on this weapon. I would say this is looking like much more of a PvE weapon. However, if you want to take this thing into PvP, I would recommend this roll right here. Perpetual Motion Enhanced and High Ground. And so we're going to take this thing into a game of competitive, my friends. Smash that like button and prepare yourselves. Let's get right in there. <laughs> Then, my friends, a game of competitive on Javelin 4. What more could you ask for, my friends? Yes, indeed, it is time. We're playing Collision. I hope my teammates are on point. Let me tell you. Here we are. We've got the high ground, but we're in big trouble. Okay, grenade out. Oh my god, it's coming. The spam. Oh my. Mm. Okay, good start. Good start. Listen, that'll happen sometimes. But anyway, my teammates took care of business somehow. And now we are perched up on this ledge because, in theory, I should proc high ground. And I most certainly have. You can see it there on the bottom left. High ground times three is active. We're hitting 49 to the head with this juicy and chunky little Vex rifle. And it lasts for quite a while as well. We got about five seconds of it right there. It almost gave us a chance to take out the next guy with it. And here we go. Look out, my friends. I have the high ground. This is probably the perfect position here, perched up on the little head glitch and uh, putting in some really, really good damage there. My teammates as well able to get some shots in. This weapon feels good to shoot. This is the first time for me as well, actually, guys, using the uh, two burst pulse rifles. I haven't actually used these. The only two burst pulse I've ever used would be the Graviton Lance. Bang, you can have some of that. You just got double shotted. Tell me how you feel. Let me know how you feel. And someone is about to get it. Someone, ooh, hey, he's already high up. Let me give you a boost into the raft as you go. Team Rocket is blasting off yet again. And again, look at this little angle, a little bit of elevation, and we're getting high ground times three. This is actually really, really nice. And I'll be honest with you as well, guys. This archetype of pulse rifle it needs all the help it can get. The base time to kill is 0.87 seconds. I, I'm not quite sure. Oh my God, that's a swarm grenade. Oh my God. I love swarm grenades, don't you? But yeah, I'm not sure why the base TTK is so terrible on these weapons, but bang, that's what I want to do. Smash you out of the way with my tractor cannon. Yes, indeed. The thing is, I, I suppose it's very stable and very easy to use and has a lot of range. So maybe Bungie are thinking you don't want to make it overpowered. And also, in fairness, I think being able to say, for example, two bursts with high ground would be broken because you don't even need to get a kill to activate maximum stacks. 
we just have to start a gunfight from an elevated position. So, you know, a couple of things are probably in their head. I'll tell you what, I'm going to throw an axe in your face, though. How about that, fella? Um, what do you guys think of this weapon archetype? I'm not exactly blown away. The only thing I really like about this gun is the way it looks, to be honest. I just love this whole Vex weaponry theme they've had going on with this season's episode. I've enjoyed pretty much every weapon I've used so far. But you know what else I enjoy, my friends? Blasting people with the tractor cannon. I'm going to put down our shield here because we are on Void Titan here. Big Purple Donkey. And we're sending him off to Mars. See you later, mate. I'll see you in the next expansion, fella. Look at that cheeky little angle there. Oh, I think they're fuming after that. I didn't get high ground. Ooh, we've got a Sun Singer. Song of Flame. I don't think so, mate. Song of Tears. How about that? <laughs> that is what you will get, mate. A Song of Sorrow. You take those flames and you can stick them. Oh my God, can I please move? Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's reposition. Let's get a little angle here. There you go. Oh, there's one. There's two. Can we make it three? Oh, yes, indeed. Smash that like button for the three piece and some fries. Oof, we are icy. Oh, so icy. Side note, those ice turrets are really annoying. And also, even though I was slaying out, uh, we somehow lost the game. And uh, you can be damn sure it wasn't my fault. So there's only two people I'm going to blame here, and that'll be my blueberries. Uh, what were you guys doing? Come on, guys. You've got to put your life on the line here. This is Destiny 2 competitive. You know what I'm saying, guys? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, listen, guys. Pulse Rifle is very unique and very cool. And this is the fully crafted version of it. Go and get your hands on it if you're interested. If you appreciate the video, you know what to do. Leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. And listen, my friends. I just want to make a bet I can throw a football over the mountains. I think I can. Bang. Uh, what the heck are you doing? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Coach would have put me in fourth quarter. We'd have been state champions, no doubt. No doubt in my mind.